So when I was at basic leaders course, I was grandfathered in as, as a sergeant um, before they changed the, the promotion, and I had been a corporal in the Marine Corps prior to. Um, so going to BLC was kind of a, a, a weird eye-opening event for me. Mm -hmm. um, one of the things they told me there was that BLC, the POI, was designed by the Sergeant Majors Academy. Is that correct? That is true. Um, Sergeant so Major Academy is the responsible for uh, the training and development of our non-commissioned officer corps. So one of the things that struck me on that is very interesting. Um, how long has it been since you were an E5, Sergeant Major? Uh, April the 1st, 1985. So it, it's been a little bit. Yeah, a day or two. Yeah. Um, so obviously you have some experience to draw upon. It's good input because right. you've got that whole gambit of experiences. Right. To me personally, it was there was a lot of good stuff in there but that I wish I would have known, that maybe I would have known growing up in the Army. Right. But I also felt that there were a lot of things that might not have been necessary that possibly if we had E6s designing 90% plus of the POI it would be more applicable because they literally just stepped out of that E5 slot. What do you think of an idea such as that? Okay, well, uh, multiple uh, answer, or a long answer I should say. Um, first of all, um, when did you go to BLC? Uh, a year ago. A year ago. Okay, so since a year ago that you went to uh, BLC. I went to PNOC. That's how long ago mine was. What are you laughing at? Um, um, so, uh, since you went to BLC, uh, we've conducted um, six or seven pilots for the new um, basically course POI. And we'll, we'll start rolling it out in August of this year and uh, kind of an ILC and to be FOC um, January of 19. Um, I, I agree with what you're saying and we found that as we went in and uh, deconstructed the, the POI. Um, so much so that when we began the work, uh, we realized that um, our SSDs were terrible. And so I wasn't we. Say it to your face, Sergeant Major. Huh? I have no problem you saying it to my face because I agree with you, and uh, and there was no rhyme or reason why things were in the SSDs. Uh, for example, SSD one, we were having young soldiers learn Lean Sigma six, and it doesn't make any sense. Now the reserve component gets EBDL dollars for doing online training, while the guardsman does not, and so. Uh, that, that was another problem I discovered with this distance learning stuff. And so when we, before we, once we kind of got the material in the, in the classroom um, resolved, like what we want to teach, um, we, we knew what the topics were. We took out mandatory training. We knew that we were going to not take land nav out, but uh, teach land nav a different way. Uh, same thing with the sticks. We knew we were going to take sticks out. Um, really focus on warrior tasks and battle drills, non-commissioned officers learning how to train. Um, one of the responsibilities we have as non-commissioned officers is to be trainers of individual tasks and in squad collective tasks, but there's no school or no, no lesson plan that we had out there to teach you all how to teach. So we put that in the basic uh, leader course. And the modules uh, that you use to do that is warrior tasks and battle drills and land nav. So we got the the POI, the curriculum settled, and then we thought through, all right, how do we prepare them for what, what they're going to see in the new redesign? And it was in the dis Distributive Leader course, DLCs. And really what DLCs do, or they're like the advance sheet that we used to do years ago, um, you know, prior, before you went into the classroom. You got told, read the advance sheet for tomorrow and it told you what chapter you need to look over or skim or be prepared to answer. Well, we moved away from that. And so the DLCs will become the advance sheets. Uh, it may tell you to read a, a chapter or two out of FM70 so that when you come into the, the class of uh, the training about um, developing a lesson plan, you have an a understanding or the use of the eight-step training model. We're, we're not <clears throat> having to waste classroom time teaching you easy to grasp concepts. So th that's how the DLCs are going to be tied to 
the brick and mortar in BLC, and we removed a lot of um, mandatory type training events out of it. Same amount of days, same amount of hours, just inside of it is, is the, and it's going to be delivered much differently. Your instructor will not, will facilitate more rather than use PowerPoint slides uh, because you're, you're prepared, you've, you've done your DLC, you've done the work before, you come in the classroom, it's all about the discussion and learning from one another. <laughs>